Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our CIS pre or Fall of the Republic 0.7 preview playthrough as the CIS. I guess I could have said CIS preview playthrough and Fall of the Republic 0.7. So whichever of those two you prefer, uh, you can just assume I said that or pretend I said that. And we're going to go from there. But uh, for this episode, for those of you who are new to the channel with this series... Uh, this is the first episode that we are recording live on Twitch, so this is something I like to do once a series gets uh, established, just a couple, a couple episodes in, give people a chance to ask questions directly during the recordings of the episodes and use a platform, Twitch, that I don't really like that much. Uh, it, it It's kind of getting back into my good graces, but we'll, we'll see if it... we'll see. So... Other than that, the episodes tend to be about as normal as usual. It's just I'll be sometimes responding to uh, to Twitch chat if there's any questions people have. And uh, we'll be recording a few episodes today, at least two. So I think with what we did last time, we kind of took control over uh, this northeastern section. I have coded in a few more patron units that were requested uh since last time, there will be a link in the description of the YouTube videos if you are a Twitch sub, channel member, or patron and you'd like to get a name in the playthrough. Uh, but yeah. Let's go this way. I, I want to take Ryloth. We haven't used Dooku and his crew, Dooku's crew, yet. So that'll probably be what we do. What we Dooku. So, actually, I want to use the, the Luger Hulk. We have a question from Revival. Have you thought of letting people who are just subscribers on YouTube have ships and campaigns? Uh, so, that's actually something that I do with the Community Challenges, which is going to be the next playthrough that we're setting up. Uh, that In that one, uh, the lower tier units are available to anyone who watches the channel. Uh, it's just the, the named units are the main way that I thank people who are uh, direct patrons and there's already like 60 units per playthrough so that's quite a lot and uh, if it was done a different way there's no real guarantee that I'd be able to use people's units uh, what is this? Shadow of Hyrule Holy Diver Investor and Maticus but yeah if it was done that way th then there'd be too many units to use and uh, like Patreon is Patreon channel members, Twitch subs. Those are basically the main way that I'm able to have any sort of income. Uh, ad revenue is a big part of it, but not the majority of it. And so it it's kind of important that I have ways to uh, thank people for using that platform or in, uh, give a a reason to use the platform uh but yeah because like if we had there's 20,000 subscribers versus 150 patrons and like 30 or 50 twitch subs uh so if there was even three or four hundred people who took up the the ships that would be very difficult to to code in and use like community challenges are fun they're one of the most fun things to do on the channel but they take a lot of work to set up. After our attack, Choose your uh, okay. Let's get a support base here. No music? I am playing music. Uh, the tour music. It, it might not be playing or something. Alright, let's get into position up here. I guess we need super battle droids. Ah! This is really blowing up and I don't like it. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Okay, uh, this is scarier than I thought. I think they have an A6 here somewhere as well. 
Ooh, that actually lived. That's good. Okay, you deploy. Dooku, kill that. Thank you very much, three coal. Three gifted subs. Here, I want clones. Give me clones. Okay. With the new ground rework, are there new maps? Uh, maps are something that get worked on pretty much at all times. Uh, the ground reworks are more about mechanics rather than uh, trying to push out a bunch of new maps in a short period of time. Uh, oh right, I can just repair you this way. I don't need to build pads. That's what the whole point of the mechanic is. Why do the Republic gunships have shields? Yeah, the LEATs do canonically have shields. That's why they were given shields. We try to represent that stuff as clear er, as. Oh shit. Dooku, what are you dookuing? Glad I noticed that. Alright. Uh... What about the third cut of all X2 streams you're on Horizon 4? Uh, that's only... That's generally if it hits a certain point. It, and it's donation revenue. Which has been very helpful. But... It's less of a reliable thing. It's like, I don't want to formalize my position there too much before... Uh, the channel's at a point where it's not like... I don't want to feel like I'm taking something away from Charlie because he relies on that a lot more than uh, than I would be. Can't do that to Chuckles. I expect you to succeed where my Have we still not put the the self healing on Dooku? That needs to change. Okay, we can start hammering on this. I guess they moved the, uh... The A6 to another planet. Usually that Ryloth is like the first place I attack. Alright, Dooku... When is the Zeissen being added to every Imperial faction in Thrawn's Revenge? I need to know, come on. Uh, never. Alright, let's move up, give Dooku some support. We'll need a replacement. We'll need a replacement. There. You're mine now. You're mine now! Okay. Now, Dooku, you can, uh... clear this one up. Can you, like, just... hit him? There's one of them. Come on, guys. There you go. Just turn around and shoot that. We just need the AATs to protect that artillery piece. Alright, just attack stuff. You'll be fine. Alright. Unit destroyed? It's not allowed. Oh, that was just the, the corruption wearing off. Okay. Don't, don't let that happen. Alright. 
Sweet. We don't really need the artillery to do this, but we're going to use the artillery to do this. Blow up that. Dooku, we don't need you to die, so please don't. All right. Alright, now we'll just slowly make our way over there. Dooku, please don't do this. Just run away from anti-infantry turrets, please. Right now, the, uh, the repair droids are using the BX Commando icons and stuff. Uh, but... I'm pretty sure the mechanic is staying. We were kind of just putting it in uh, to test, but I've really enjoyed the the field bases, so I'm pretty confident they're sticking around. They're going to be properly fleshed out, given a given a preview video, and they're going to stick around, so they can get like all the proper techs and assets. I don't think they have that much left. Is this it? Are you close? Yep. Just Twi'leks. Uh, Moldus wants to know, is raiding going to be more fleshed out in Fall of the Republic in the future? The only unit capable of doing it right now with the commando droids. Raiding is generally a feature we try to stay away from because it's just kind of annoying and kind of shitty. Uh, it's not something we want to have on a bunch of unit types. Then it's just everything gets raided and it turns into a cheese thing. So it's not really something we like to lean into. All right, we can... Start this going again. Uh, we haven't done the research for... Um, for Bulwarks yet. Tana, is that in the middle? There's still a f oh, there we go. There's still a few planets in Father Republic that I'm not uh, not as good with the locations of yet. Should we upgrade Celestis? No, we don't need to do that. Do we have a level four anywhere? Come on, we do. All right, so we can get us get the Rampager. Uh, for 20k. Let's get... Revenge of the Squidmen after that. Actually, no. Let, let's hold off until we have another shipyard. Level 3 on Geonosis. There's going to be a bit of... Building up and waiting. Bimisari is getting attacked as well. Uh, what do you got for me? I don't think we'll be able to win this. Well, we definitely won't be able to win this. Let's just get some money. Rather than going in and retreating. A 
BitNoodles wants to know, are there any plans to add SSDs or dreadnoughts to skirmish in ICW or Fall of the Republic in the future? Uh, not really. If we did, it'd have to be in some kind of mode specifically dedicated to it, rather than being, uh... Rather than being just, like, generically on maps. For one thing, scale. For another thing, balance. Mosquito also wants to know, at the very least, will Arc Commandos, Clone Commandos, and Delta Squad be able to conduct raids? We still have to decide if we want any Commando to be able to do it at all. If anything can, it'd be Commandos or some Heroes. But, again, it might be something that we entirely get rid of. Uh, it fucks with certain things like planet locks, it's just an annoying cheese mechanic, it's not really something we're happy about being there. Uh, so... We're getting attacked in a lot of places. We could just try to keep stuff back and... I don't really like doing the thing where you keep something a planet back, wait for it to get attacked at the neighbor and then uh, jump in. But with some of these borders, we may have to do something like that. Fair enough with EA do have Torp Spheres. Uh, torpedo Spheres aren't really SSDs. They're much small. Like they're Stuff like Praetors are already in Skirmish. And they tend to be even slightly bigger than Torpedo Spheres, whereas SSDs are, like, four times the length of a, of a Praetor. They literally do not fit in the skirmish maps. Okay, let's let that keep going. Construction complete. Uh, Solist, we do have the capital shipyard. So, let's get... I, wait. Okay, it might actually be correct there. Hunter Dominatus. Revenge of the Squid Men. And Death Sticks. Telti is getting attacked. Oh. Oh, this is because I moved the stuff from Umbara. We're good. Okay. It's just one Venator and a couple transports. We got this. One of the really annoying things about uh, stealth units is that uh, you can just drop them onto locked planets. The biggest problem is, like, the actual raid mechanic from the base game. That's something that we're really never going to put back. These are both captors, not auxilias, so can't just run them at stuff. All right, uh, where are the ground units? I'm gonna see if we can get past these to to kill the transports. Not that we're like super pressed for ground destruction, but it'd just be nice to kill them. It's sending a message. There we go. Oh, 
Mosquito also wants to know, will plant unique units like N1 fighters as well as GN and flash beaters for Naboo and various Embaran vehicles for Embara be buildable at some point? Uh, for those specific things, we don't know the specific implementation we're going to go with. They will be things, but uh, that's one of the reasons that we implemented things like influence. Because when you just have planet-specific units uh, as like just own the planet and build them, it that's usually not great. It'll be that like with influence we can make it so you have to build up and integrate a, a planet a bit more and focus on them a bit more to get those kind of benefits, and that's something that we're going for. Uh, but yeah, that's that's essentially why influence exists. So we can do things like that and help differentiate planets more in that way. So that'll be thing. That'll be stuff that happens more. Uh, Reese saying, could raiding potentially work as something along the lines of corruption, where you can sabotage something in the world and not just end up take the whole planet with three droids? Uh, so corruption sabotage is one of the most annoying features in the game. That's really not something we'd want to go back to. Uh, where it's just like on the galactic map, no counterplay. You drop the thing in the slot, it blows something up. It's not. Not ideal. Alright, let's see if we can hold on. There's going to be a lot of infantry coming. Alright. Rhino saying, instead of completely removing raiding, would you add a mission that required it for a planet like Kristoff's? Oh, you wouldn't be able to make it require it for a planet, because, like, you can still take the planets normally. Uh, there are, like, story events that we're trying to do, and just missions on the galactic level that we're trying to do, which could work in, like, certain ground missions that are going for a specific objective rather than taking the planet. Uh, there are a few that we have planned like that. But nothing that's recognizable as raiding as it is now in either form where it's just like plopping a bunch of stealth units on the planet or uh or the base game style of like small force that enters the planet and then just kills everything on it ah shit a6 I don't think we'll be able to kill the A6. We might be able to if we got a bunch of B2s. But yeah, the A6 probably means this planet is done. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do much here at all. Yeah, that is just destroying us. Bit Noodles is asking, will the Republic class Star Destroyer ever be in Thrawn's Revenge for New Republic? It used to be. It's kind of a redundant unit. It's an incredibly ugly unit. Uh, it's probably never coming back because it basically needs a new design and its stats just put it way too close to other units that are already there. It's like the New Republic already has the most units in the game, the most capital ship options in the game, and then there's other stuff that we're adding that is more oriented towards like the Bong War and stuff. It's just not, it's not a unit that really has a role. Uh, one of the things that Essential Guide to Warfare was going to do, and I really wish they had, was retcon the, uh, the MC-80B and the Republic Star Destroyer as the same ship, and then that would have been fantastic. We've lost a build pad. Alexander's asking, have you ever considered making a campaign of the game as found in the base game? Uh, so making those kind of missions and that kind of Lewis script is uh, one of the most specialized, specialized skills that exist in Empire at War. Uh, and our stuff for that has mostly been focused on the new galactic level mechanics and uh, some ground level mechanics we do add things like missions when we can and we have a lot more plans for missions going forward as well but again our focus for that is on stuff that impacts galactic conquest rather than 
uh, a standalone mode that, well, it would be cool to have on its own, also wouldn't have that much replayability. So people would probably play it once and then uh, it doesn't, imp like the work spent on that doesn't improve the Galactic level at all. If once we're at a point or if we're ever at a point where we feel like we've added enough of that stuff or fleshed out Galactic Conquest to the extent we'd want, uh, which is especially difficult when you have a bunch of different projects, you have government mechanics that we're trying to do, then we might be able to do like a 10 mission campaign or something, but it's... It's highly unlikely, and it's not something we're really focusing on. But like, a lot of those kind of story missions are being added to Galactic Conquest, so... We're just prioritizing things that work better in GC. All right. Uh, we need money. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. We don't have as many trade ports as we could. I think we got one here already. Rundilly could have one, Duro. Building. We'll build one on Duro. So, like, there's already things like the Katana mission that exists in the Thrawn campaign. There's the Delta Source stuff. Uh, and a lot of that is being brought from the individual single era campaigns into things like Art of War. It's just more difficult because... In the single era ones, we're, we have more control over where factions are when things start. Uh, in the era progressive ones, you never know. Like, if you initialize a bunch of missions at the start of the uh, at the start of an era, you don't know who controls what territory, and it it can turn into a bit of a clusterfuck. Uh, and was also asking, do you think it will take years for the Vong War to roll into Thrawn's Revenge? Uh, I mean, it'd take years to be finished. It'll start having Vong content relatively soon. We do have two or three ships finished for it already. But what are we going to do here? Let's try to... Oh, that's not good. Ten ATTEs, but this is better than having to blow through a juggernaut. So let's see. All right, uh, let's get a support base. We're gonna get a vision thing. We are gonna have to stop them from. Oh crap. You're going to be stuck, aren't you? God damn it. They're on top of the thing. We're probably going to remove passability restrictions on those. It'll be a bit weird having stuff walk over it, but it it can be too easy to have them get stuck. See if we can kill these clones. Those are the rockets. All right, get up there. They're unstuck now. Super battle droids, go and kill some vehicles for us, please. Like, as far as how long it takes to make certain uh, 
certain bits of content. It really depends on active staff at any given point. Uh, like the Mon Calamari model reworks, I was essentially planning on them taking the better part of the year. Uh, but then Asertzel did all the models in the space of a couple weeks. Uh, we've had a lot of people join recently, which is really helpful, especially when talking about like breadth of content. It doesn't having a lot of people doesn't help with speeding up uh, new mechanics that much because with that it's usually the design work that takes a while and you can't speed up design work like that. It's mostly having the right idea, iterating on it, testing it that way. Uh, whereas like the number of factions that you have, the number of units that you add, uh, the number of units that we're able to rework, all of that does get sped up by having more active staff, uh, which is something that's been really helpful lately. So the uh, like that's also what makes it more possible to have things like both Thrawn's Revenge and Fall of the Republic active at the same time, or Revan's Revenge uh, even being a possibility would be because we have uh, a decent amount of like active artists. Because if the people who work on the coding or design side uh, are working on those mechanics, it's easier to apply those in multiple places when you have people who can go and do the applications, make the extra units, and all that. Oh, shit, 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 uh, break this way, break this way, don't blow up, a lot of you are going to blow up, okay, you didn't blow up, that's good, you all blew up, that's less good. Alright, they're gonna take the the control point. GG FF. Like we have the way we've set up our files uh, works really well for developing TR and Fall of the Republic at the same time. Uh because with a lot of it, it works off the Galactic Framework, uh, and we just have to edit that in one place once. Uh, and then stuff like planet attributes are always shared, but then there's like different folders for units. Uh, so it becomes easier to manage it that way. Uh, the fact that there's so much stuff in Thrawn's Revenge does make it difficult to do uh, certain reworks. But... Just because if, if you're... So when we were doing the space and ground reworks, in Fall of the Republic, there are two factions that have actually relatively few units right now. Uh, pretty well-defined units. So it went pretty quickly. Uh, because doing something for 40 units, much easier than doing it for like the 800 that TR has. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit scared, not gonna lie. I think taking Prisitlin is kind of what we want to do. Because we don't need this fleet just kind of sitting there, waiting for us. And then this is gonna happen. I kind of want to retreat this and come back with Grievous's fleet. Huh. That's not what you want. Thanks, Clipping. Otherwise this would look much nicer. Who would want that? But yeah, like at that point, adding new factions, the biggest thing it requires is the design that goes into the government stuff. 
because uh, we really do want those to be relatively important parts of the factions, important parts of the playstyles. Uh, right now, like the CIS and Republic have uh, limited but decent government mechanics. People have seemed to really like the sub-faction integration and the uh, when it's not bugged out like it currently is, which is kind of frustrating. But uh, people seem to like that. They seem to like the Order 65, 66 stuff. And beyond that point, it's more about coming in with uh, with uh, other other mechanics like that. Uh, the Lit Tree. Will there be more factions just to follow the Republic like Kamala's Crime Syndicate? There will be other factions. Uh, the Shadow Collective is not a good faction option. It is not something that could really control planets. It's not something that really had a military. Uh, like... Sure, they had some Mandalorian warriors, they had a Sith Lord, but if you think about what they'd have for options for space, especially, it's like small freighters. It'd be impossible to challenge Munificent for them, let alone anything more powerful. So it's... Any Shadow Collective representation would essentially be part of the Huts, if anything. Like a, a storyline for the Huts, a way for them to get a few more units and heroes. Are you going EU, Canon, or a bit of both? The mod, uh, both of the Empire War Expanded mods, or all the Empire War Expanded mods, are currently based in Legends. We don't mix it. If we did a new Canon mod, it would just be a new Canon mod. Not out of a dislike for new Canon or for Legends, just because they are distinct stories and you don't really need to mix them. It doesn't really make much sense to mix them. Alright. Let's... kill them before they invade. And then we'll probably need an Ion Cannon or something. So 7 Venators, 10 Dreadnoughts, Praetor, Invincible. Okay, let's just turn this way. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, these are just the Planetary Defense Force Dreadnoughts. Nothing too threatening. This is going to be slightly disorienting, but it looks slightly better, so... Yeah, the Mandator is coming. Uh, Farshad has been working on a concept for that. This is, this is too disorienting. All right, let's jump you in over there. We're gonna have some Providence pals. Oh, that is good range on you. And Rectcusent. Daedalus. Autobot. We're gonna go with DH Omni, I forget what your name is. But we're gonna come in from the side with the nice munificent flank. And try to take out some of their small ships with this. Uh, I'll actually throw in the recusant there. We'll get Bumble's Bounce over here with a few more diamonds over here for some anti-fighter. And that actually leaves enough space for a hard cell, two hard cells.
I was kind of hoping to split them up more. Uh, fix a flat over this way. Okay, let's see if we can kill the Praetor. I don't want Trench to to die. Okay, let's try to focus this down. I'm kind of afraid. We can come in now with the Munificence and have them... ...hit the Praetor without taking too much damage themselves. Aside from the Thrawn books and James Lucino, any other recommendations for Star Wars books that are well written? So they're pretty wonky. I mean, the Thrawn trilogy, anything by Timothy Zahn, I recommend, in both New Canon and uh, Legends. So there's the New Thrawn trilogy, there's also the original Thrawn trilogy, uh, Outbound Flight, Hand of Thrawn duology, uh, all that stuff. All those are good. Uh, but I do host a podcast with Eckhart's Ladder where we talk about, every other week we do a podcast on. Uh, different Star Wars books, so we cover a book per podcast. We just finished the Jedi Academy trilogy. I didn't love Champions of the Force, uh, but I like the other two books in that trilogy. Uh, so if you want to check that out, that's on my lore channel, as well as on Eckhart Slatter's channel. What I'm kind of worried about here is that as soon as we destroy this, I don't know what's going to jump in to replace it, but this is the life we chose. Trench isn't dying yet, though. I'm going to try to target individual hard points with these guys. Uh, just take it down a bit more efficiently. Like... It'll stay at 100% firepower slightly longer because it is just one thing going for each thing. But it'll ultimately die a bit faster. We're going to have an open pop slot in a second. All right, let's go for it. If you look in the description, there should be a link to uh, to Corey's data pad, which is the lore channel, and then the podcast is Tap Cap Transmissions. It's also on Spotify and other platforms. Don't like that Trench is dying. Uh, let's throw in a captor. Will Trench be any getting any abilities or no? Uh, abilities are something that we're still working on with uh, the reworks. We don't want to just throw in a bunch of the same thing, uh, like a bunch of renamed power to weapons. That would be lame. Instead, we, we try to make them slightly more unique. Gandalf wants to know when's the next update for Thrawn's Revenge coming out. We do not have an exact date. It just started testing last night. So hopefully only a couple weeks. But if something goes wrong, then we got to wait longer. All right, I am a little bit worried about what they're going to bring in. Let's start moving up a little bit more. Yeah, Trench is going to die.
the engines going down were not helpful. Uh, okay. Maybe we can try to lure them more this way, though. That's it for you. Let's see if we're able to pull some shields back on this. You get up there. Okay. Yeah, hero prices weren't changed in skirmish yet with the reworks. They will be changed. Uh, the bulwark was just a misapplied thing. It's going to change as well. So don't worry about that. Uh, okay. We've almost maxed out on what we have. You guys need to come up more. Need to literally do anything. Alright, this has now become a Venator death zone. Trench is getting some shields back, so he's not immediately going to die. It's starting to work out. Nice. Trench isn't going to die. Hit those engines. Make sure this Venator dies. This has gone from scary to worth. No, oh, I didn't even check the engines on that one. I should have. That would have been an easy kill. Oh well. We did lose Bumble's Bounce, six provinces. That's the only expensive loss there. We killed a Praetor, though. We killed a Venator. Uh, let's see what the damage was on uh, on this history graph, though. It's not going to register yet. But that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, so we will be back. Ooh, maybe we'll... Let's kill Yoda. Then we'll be back. Yeah, I did not. There was no world in which I really wanted to interdict that. I wasn't 100% sure if they had stuff holding back still. Because sometimes the AI will go really low. You'll think you've won, and then they'll just drop in like six more ships. And I'd rather just not risk losing trench there. All right, Yoda has accepted his fate, apparently. Let's see if I need to interdict it. Eh, yeah. There goes Yoda. Then some transports. I don't know if this is discussed in any of your videos, but is there any possibilities for variations of the HV guns or ion cannons for different factions? Uh, it'll change for the CIS and Republic, but we were kind of limited in what we're able to do with those because of how the game works. There's basically an index. I don't know how expandable the index is. 
it might just be uh, two, maybe three, depending on what it allows you to do in like Zan Consortium style. Like if that requires to be attached to a station, but it's unlikely we'll be able to have like a unique one for every faction in TR, for example. Oh, these are the TR-25s with the vehicle boxes that Mr. Puerto Rican did. Like, transports are one of the lower priority things because they're more of a visual thing. Like, you can get by having everything be in one type of vehicle, but it is something that we are working on expanding. Uh, kind of slowly, but relatively steadily. So eventually there'll be a bunch of different ones. It's just not a huge priority thing for us. All right. Blow them up. Blow them up. There we go. All right, now that Yoda's dead and four A6 juggernauts are dead, we are going to leave this episode here for now. For those of you watching on Twitch, we're going to keep going. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. We're just going to quickly save on Twitch, so we'll take a quick minute or two break, depending on how long it takes, but bye, everyone.